Hi, and welcome to Fresher Talks. My name is Tint, and today we are going to have a closer look on the interfaces of the Fresher Track Vacancy System, FTVS. In this episode, we will go into detail about the interfaces of the FTVS, which mainly will be the WCB interfaces. The interfaces of the FTVS consist of the display, reset button, serial interface, and the cage clamp terminals of the WCB. First, we will start with the front panel interfaces of the FTVS. The front panel display is used to indicate axle count in the track section, and in case of any errors, it is shown on the display as well. Located here also are the serial interface and the front panel reset button. The serial interface is an RJ45 socket, which can be used for local diagnostics via the ASD cable. The RJ45 socket can also be used to implement remote diagnostics if needed. The WCB support TTL, which is used for the ASD as well as RS-232 signals. A reset is necessary after a power-up, which this button on the front panel can be used. Now, let's talk about the cage clamp terminals interfaces of the FTVS, which includes six connectors in total. First, we start with the blue interface, which is used for external power supply input to power the WCB. And from there, power is daisy chained to the WSCs. The next interface would be the green connectors, which are the discrete dry contact outputs of the WCB. These are two redundant outputs for track vacancy detection, which can be used as normally open or normally closed. After that would be the two black interfaces, which are used for the real sensor signal input from the WSC. This is how the digital signals of the WSC are fed into the WCB for axle counting. Two pins each from the black connector is used for the sensor signals, which total of four sensors can be connected. Last but not least, this is the gray interface, which consists of reset input for the WCB and the WSC optocoupler supply for the digital pulses of the wheel sensor signal. Thank you for watching this episode on FTVS interfaces. Stay tuned and see you again on Frasher Talks.